Hi, I'm Katherine Delaney, and this is your Daily Tarot for Saturday, August 29th, 2020. The first card that we have for today is the Judgment card. The Judgment card, as you can see, is a card of realization. Like, there's a new sense of calling um, from into the depths of our being, like a fire of our own spirit that's awakening us from the way that we've been living our lives and the sense of confinement that we've been living in. So this card is associated with one of the mother cards. It's called Shin, which is that inner fire uh, motivation. So there's something that's really like um, when, you, when you consider like the seed and what pushes it out of its own shell. It's that inner fire that literally is calling us out of our own shell into a new way of being in the world. It's like a spiritual realization of, of sorts. The second card that we have is a card um, that is also a major arcana. It's the High Priestess. This card is ruled by uh, the moon, and it's a card of intuition, some sense of knowing and understanding that is revealed to us today without us actually having to go out and seek it out. Um, it's saying that we don't necessarily have to act in order for something to happen, right? So how do we infuse our thoughts and how we look at the world and what we like how we speak about the world and what we want in life and how does that actually empower the energies that are around us and call things to us rather than having to go out and you know get a pickaxe and some cement and having to build it quite physically um, this is an intuitive sense. You may have some understanding or realization that comes in today that tells you about a situation that may ultimately be good or bad for you or it initiates some, some interest inside of you. And I just want to encourage you to follow that, um, even if it's in just thinking about it in a new way. Like, oh, this really interests me. I wonder how that will look. I wonder how that will manifest, rather than saying, this is absolutely not gonna happen. It's not possible given the situation that we're in, right? The High Priestess, if we look at her cape, she has a lot of, um, it looks like almost like a waterfall of water. And when we consider water globally, you know, Things get distributed and carried from the ocean to the rain to lakes to rivers to all of these other area, bodies of water um, without anyone picking, picking up a bucket of water and actually like from the ocean and dumping it into the lake. It's all connected. And so how we think about things and where we put our energy in things, it also is all connected. And it's important to consider that we are actually in the process of manifesting things all the time, even when we can't see it. So, pretty powerful card. We also have the third card for today, which is the Seven of Swords, which um, is a learning around an environment or situation. This learning in this environment and situation may definitely influence um, the information that we are feeling intuitively and ultimately where we feel a sense and call to act and do things differently. Um, it's also telling us that, you know, even if a situation that we're in is ending, to realize that we are, we have gathered things in that experience that we're going to be taking with us. It also can be forewarning us of possibly a sketchy character in our lives that we need to possibly take some more precautions around. Like for instance, putting away your valuables, not leaving them out in the open, not leaving them in front of the window or visible in your car and things like that. Um, Cause there could be someone who is you know, basically in a crappy situation and it's just looking for a way to get ahead and they may take advantage of you um, just because you weren't looking out for yourself. Um, so there's a few possibilities around the card. Of course, you know, based on the other cards that we have today, Judgment card, which is the awakening of that fire within, and the High Priestess card, which is, you know, letting us know that we're manifesting things even if we aren't you know, building them, so to speak, um, physically in the world. This is more telling me that there's a, a 
thing in life that we're moving on from and that we've gathered enough of what we need to move forward. So those are the cards for today, Saturday, August 29th. 2020. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you do something for yourself today that makes you feel nourished and loved and that you have people in your life that, you know, cause you to feel loved and valuable and needed and um, laughter and all the good things that make this life what it's all about. I wish you the best for the day and I will see you soon.